Our marine wildlife is hugely important. It's unseen, um, out of sight, out of mind, and that means that we haven't treated it well. Our seas are in a dreadful state. The North Sea was once one of the most productive seas on the planet, home to blue whales, dolphins, uh, massive numbers of porpoises. Most of that's gone now. We've overfished it, overpolluted it, overused it in many ways. And the government passed in 2009 the Marine Act for the very first time giving us an opportunity to put together a network of kind of nature reserves at sea which we call marine protected areas. The issue is that we have to have enough of them and the sorts of activities that you do in them need to be licensed properly and that Marine Act gives you that opportunity to do that. But if you don't have enough it simply will not work. The government put together a, a project, the, the net gain project in the North Sea, to get all the users of the sea, the fishermen, the oil and gas industry, the renewables industry and so on, and the conservationists like us, together to look at where these marine protected areas should be. So a consensus was developed and around the English coast, 127 marine protected areas have been identified. We're not sure that that's quite enough, but it's certainly a very good start. But it looks like our government is only going to um, recommend a few of those sites, maybe 30 or 40 of those sites, rather than the full 127. That's simply not good enough. All the science says that that will not work. The government must do better.